film star and comedian Sylvia Sage here to discuss what you've only dared to ask Google. Undress, unzip, and unwind. The party starts now. Hey, <laughs> Oh, I got Hi. some singing action. I have so much energy right now. Welcome back, you guys. Another episode of Sexy, Funny, Raw. You like it? You like my energy? I love level? the title. Okay, thank go. you. Look at that thank you. Right What's, mm. Oh, God. She's on fire. I know. Ooh. So, I mean, it's the ho, ho, ho season. Is so. that the Christmas card? It might be. Mm. Should I send that it out to my family? Be. I, I sent it something like that yeah, to my definitely. family a couple years ago. I wanted to have my cats in it. Do you know what I'm saying? So I had like my cats wearing like little Santa caps on each side of me. <laughs> but I would still do it in lingerie. My family would totally accept it. Like 100%. I sent one in yeah, underwear same. two years ago on the beach in Malibu with like... Like oh my little, God, I love it. Yeah. Okay, before we get going too much, because I need you to know who these lovely voices and these lovely faces are that are coming at you. So my guest co-host for this week again, um, I've brought back my longtime friend and... and, and um, Long is right. Long. Very, <laughs> very long time friend, Mr. Pierce Paris, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the show. Thanks, Thanks for having me. I'm Absolutely. To and if you don't happen to know Mr. Pierce Paris, he is an adult performer as well. He has worked in um, gay, straight, not gay, straight, gay, trans, bisexual, every kind of porn. He has won numerous awards. He's been in since 2017, booking for himself, been over for. 400 films. He has won 2018's uh, Grabby Performer of the Year, 2019's um, Best Porn Star uh, at Cybersocket. He got the Best Buy Scene. and Oh, that's not true. That was at Cybersocket. The Best Buy Scene was the 2019 Gavian, which is like the Avian of the Gay Awards, which are way more fun to be at. Just saying. <laughs> um, <laughs> and um, he has recently become famous for his um, Twitter snippets that have been coming out, like challenges is what I'm going to call them. Um, and we did talk recently on our last episode about your running butthole challenge that just like swooped the nation. Um, <laughs> it was uh, it was everywhere. Yeah, and 20 million people in like four days. 20 it's not million crazy. people, yeah, that's Multiple so crazy. viral videos, it's crazy. Yeah. Everybody just running and jumping on phones with their naked little buttholes and <laughs> I was one of them. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. So thank you for coming back and yeah. uh, we'll think of a new challenge before the show ends. That would be awesome. We should. <laughs> totally. And you guys, we are very lucky because on our show today, I don't only have one guest, but I have two very sexy guests. You guys, this is one of the sexiest couples that I've ever met. Um, and I know some sexy people. <laughs> um, Mr. Cade Maddox, ladies and gentlemen, and Mr. Kevin... I asked how to pronounce this. Benoit. Benoit. So I was like, fancy. it's like quinoa, but it's binoa. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Benoit. Both very healthy. Yeah. See, yeah. I like yeah. that. I'm going to use that now. No, I don't yeah, know like quinoa. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, that's how I would remember I it, like and I that. still forgot it. So <laughs> I'll never forget it again, though. So there we go. Um, so Mr. Cade Maddox is a, also works in adult film, like myself and Mr. Pierce Paris. He's one of the most popular and successful performers in the business, and we can all see why. Uh, originally from the Gulf Coast, Coast of Mississippi, Maddox entered the industry in 2017 as well, with his breakout year being 2018. Appearing in scenes for numerous studios, he was nominated for Best Newcomer that year as well, and Hottest Newcomer and the Fan Awards. I love that. At the um, Gavians, you picked up a whopping eight nominations. That's amazing. Yeah, that's um, and you're currently a CyberSocket Award nominee as well, and that is coming up uh, very soon. And I'll see you there. Yeah, and they're we'll all coming up very soon. Yeah, yeah I know. It's, it's right awards, around award season. It's award season, you guys. It's so fun. I don't even have anything to wear for any of them. I bought some. We need to go shopping. I yeah. bought some outfits <laughs> online, and they came from China. Terrific. Uh, don't ever do that. Uh, it's a big mistake. You're like so, black uh, mesh. I need some them black mesh. Sexy. I tried. Yeah. It wasn't good. Okay. <laughs> Uh, and then his very sexy um, boyfriend who has his own accolades, and I'm going to read just a very short snidbit because I know this man has so many I could ramble on for hours. Um, Kevin started acting at the age of 11 and from Montreal, Canada, and has some of his biggest TV shows back then as well as doing national commercials in England and uh, France for pretty much every brand from uh, Pepsi, AT&T, Coca-Cola, which I don't know how you did Pepsi and Coca-Cola. Good for you. Um, <laughs> Pontiac GM, um, Guitar Idol, and so many more. His television and radio broadcasting training, which led him to co-hosting talk shows, radio shows, and internet shows. He has modeled from numer numerous fashion brands and numerous campaigns. Please welcome Kevin. Hi. Benoit. I love Ooh. it. 
You see? I got it now. Go. Nailed it. There you go. <laughs> Nailed it. Okay, you guys, so the theme for our show today is about, um, and is about relationships and dating and porn. And so tell me, how did this begin? How did this love affair, how did you meet? I didn't know he was a porn star. You I'm didn't know? Oh, I was like, did you not know? <laughs> you knew. Yeah. And you were going after that. You came after him, is this correct? Y yeah. Uh, yeah, is we'll it? say that's correct. Okay, I love that. There was a pause there. I, I know, know there meant. was on both <laughs> forms. Because we're really Instagram. forgetful. It was, so so okay. it was through social media. Social met, media. Actually. That yeah. means Grinder. Thank you, social <laughs> media. No, it, no I <laughs> wish. <laughs> it wasn't on Grindr. He was, he's not on Grinder. I can't find him on Grinder. Mm. Well, that's good. You don't want him to be on Grinder because he's in your bed. All like, right, why right. do you I want mean, him? But <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Like, I could. <laughs> he's just not on there. Well, good. He wasn't on there then. So does it not bother you that he's sleeping with hundreds of other people? Well, I didn't see it that way with hundreds. <laughs> <laughs> you, you just made this afternoon very Thousands. awkward for them. No. <laughs> I mean, it's just to get used to it. It's work. Like anyone yeah. that's been on a porn shoot, it's not that yeah. that fun. Mm -hmm. The guy might be hot, but then it's like 20 people yelling at you. To the left. And you're not even getting really to have sex it's in the way like that you would want. Sex. Right. Yeah. yeah, it's definitely not enjoyable sex. I say that to people all the time. There's sex and then there's porn sex, and it's a totally yeah. different thing. And you do disconnect. Excuse me. Oh, she's, <laughs> she's getting a little nervous. Bless her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so a tickle. Excited. That's what she said. I know. <laughs> you learn to I disconnect, but I think it still took a while to be like, okay, it's really not like what you imagine. So then he'd come back like the first couple and all. It wasn't a good scene at all. Thank God. Were you jealous in the beginning? Yeah. Yeah. How could you not be? I would totally. Till you get used to it. It's yeah. like. He's yeah. still getting used to it. Would Sometimes. you ever date a fan, Pierce? Wait, I was oh. not a fan necessarily. Oh, wait, you oh, excuse <laughs> I had me. never watched one of his scenes. What a liar. But you knew he was a porn star. But I you knew didn't... it was bunkers. They told me, oh, he's a porn star. I'm like, oh, great. Who's he they? Looks great. My friends. Who oh, knew we did was. meet through a mutual friend. It was, oh, okay. Yeah. Now the story's changed. Did you know. notice? Yeah. No, There's we, something no, there. We, I don't we, know. We, this, is, this is how it happened. <laughs> we were messaging on social media, but then his friend introduced us in the Abbey. Okay. And at first, yeah. like, I don't, I'm not well with putting people together with, like, oh, uh, you know, like. Body parts with faces. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, he put me through the ring. It took a couple of days before we had sex. I was like, what else? A couple of dates. <laughs> uh, see, that's what I'm saying. I put out on the first night. If I'm into you, we're fucking immediately. I know well, within the first few seconds if I want to have sex with somebody. That would usually be the case, but my problem is when I go out and I, I start drinking mm -hmm. and get a little bit too, and then. Can't get it up. Well, Got it. well, I'm just passed I'm out. I'm just being by the honest. Time. <laughs> I'm just passed out by the time. There's no like choice to get it up. Oh, I'm just like you're fucked out. Up. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's you're like, a passer outer. Yeah, I'm a, I'm done. I'm a thrower upper first, and then a passer outer. <laughs> oh, that's sexy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he did that the other night. I know my limit. Some guys are actually over the side of my car. Yeah. Oh, you throw about the car. I usually never throw up. Oh, never oh, get that drunk. And I got so he didn't even know I threw up. <laughs> I was <laughs> throwing up. My jack, my jacket was full. The next day, I'm like, "Did you see your car?" He's like, "You didn't throw up. I just thought you were hanging by the window for the fun of it." I was, like, I thought was he, he was a lap dog? <laughs> fresh air. You know, he had. I have those moments where I get so drunk. Sometimes I just have to have fresh air. I just need like plenty of fresh air. Oh my and god! I don't have hilarious. the fresh air that my throat. So I thought he was just getting fresh air. And, and he then was getting fresh air. The next day, <laughs> and we got <laughs> vomit coming inside the car, outside the car. Oh it's, no, that's rough. <sighs> yeah. That is rough. But you know what? I'm a vomiter, and I have no problems with it. I vomited last night. I will. I've never seen you vomit. We drank a very, lot together. Don't you feel so skinny the next day after you wake up? Well, I always feel whatever? skinny. I have an incredible <laughs> metabolism. But I'm like, oh my like, god. I feel like ripped today. No, I threw up last night because I had too much to drink. Like, I legit, and I'll do it so secretly. You won't even know I did it. Like, I just like, oh, it's going to happen. And I'll just go into the bathroom. And then you feel better. Oh, that's like that's, you. How, that's me. I know yeah. when it's coming. My mouth starts to do this water. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And it's like this water. It's and I'm coming. like, okay, I know I have to go. But we'll out. be at a little party, a circuit party somewhere. And I'll be like, okay, I'm ready, yeah. I'm ready to dance. I'm the same. I'm I can dance. come right back to the situation and be... Yeah, you just need Not whatever out. it was out. Yeah, that's yeah, it. that's fine. I learned that the hard way. <laughs> oh wow! I think did we that? all first day, like first like day we go out. We're in Brazil. Oh, I'm like, I'm gonna show shit. you how to party in Brazil. I've been here four <laughs> times. So we go, and then at one point, he's like, I'm not feeling so well. I'm like, we can take a minute. Like, I need to go. Okay, let's go to the bathroom. We're going to the bathroom. There's two people in line. I'm like, oh, there's a stall. There's something. He's like, no, no. <gasps> It oh, just like God. everywhere, all it's over. It's happening. Him. All over me. <gasps> oh, all over you. But then I was a good sport. I was like, it's and then okay. we started dating a Don't few days worry. later. Oh, you hadn't even started dating <laughs> no. yet? That's a huge red flag. I'm sorry. Vomit on you. 
You mm. wouldn't go out with him anymore? He's pretty hot, though. I'd let well, him you might make some exceptions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I threw up on somebody on my 28th birthday and w- like while we were having sex, and we still talk all the time. Ooh. I'll... Yeah. It could be like a funny story. Yeah. If it's not so gross. It was pretty gross. And we both like slept in my vomit all oh, night, too. Oh, I know. I know. Oh. It was Florida. <laughs> <laughs> a Florida. Florida. That's, it. That's all you have. <laughs> Yeah, yeah we people get arrested in Florida, Florida and they bought in Florida. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so you were not a fan, but you were okay with dating. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Now, Pierce, in saying that, would you ever date a fan? Would you date somebody who was a legitimate fan of yours? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I would yeah. too. I think. I just can't believe you never watched one of my scenes. <laughs> not till I met, like we talked. I don't believe him, by the way. No, Do you not watch before. his porn now? I watch it once in a while to see the chemistry and all that. Mm. But You're he's like taking notes. He's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's not watching it to get off. He's watching it to yeah. make sure that we don't need to fight later. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I watch it now, but I don't watch it all. It okay. makes me very awkward. Mm. Yeah, but I'm also not a porn guy. Oh. Like, I don't watch that much porn in really? general. Yeah. Mm. Okay, I feel I don't watch as much now, but I feel like now it's just because I know everybody. So yeah. I just have to scroll through a lot more to find to somebody find some. I don't know. <laughs> you know, well that's just it. You know, I have a lot of friends now yeah. in porn, and it's like I can't even enjoy anything because yeah. yeah. I know you all. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm the opposite. I'm like I'm. You still like, like watching a fan. your friends? Like I'm a fan. Yeah, I have like certain favorites. I'm just like yeah. <laughs> Who I'm are totally your favorites? Like, yeah. Um, I don't know. It's mm-hmm. like, I have favorite porn people. That I think are just like super attractive. That I right. like stalk their pages. And sometimes, you know, when you get lost in somebody else's page, you're like, how are they this hot? Yeah, I don't right. understand. I do that with Nicole I've, Aniston. Oh my God. I feel like we need like Pornhub to do the same thing Spotify did, like your top four performers and you mm. post it after mm. so we can know what you're watching. Mm. Oh, yeah. I said I want to know what people's porn searches are too, yeah. but Pierce brought it up that fads change that maybe mm-hmm. one day you're into something and the other day you're yeah, not yeah but at the end so. of the year there's like a percentage the top, okay, of what I got you would have watched yeah, what would be yours I, I don't watch that much but but what are your top four you have to have to a muscle top muscle mm-hmm. okay alright mostly All right. okay I feel like I try to watch porn where it's the women look like me is what I Ooh, usually that's weird yeah no. I don't know because then I just imagine myself like you wouldn't watch a blonde girl it's easier mm-hmm. to put yourself in their position. Like, yes. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Or I watch a lot of gay porn. I'm super into gay porn. A lot porn. of women watch I'm gay porn. I'm super hot. I have hot. so many female fans. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Like, yeah, me too. Yeah. Have you watched my porn? Mm, <laughs> no, <laughs> see, I don't really watch my friends. Friends, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's yeah. A, it, yeah, yeah. Not that I wouldn't be turned on by it, but I was like, and I don't, people have got to stop posting full sex scenes on Twitter because. Yeah, I just see the trailers. I see your trailers. Yeah. 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 I see we all just trailers. see each other's yeah. trailers. Really. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I just strolling through Twitter. I don't know whose it was, but it was somebody and it was a super hot scene. And like, I came like literally scrolling through Twitter. Like you it see, was like so much. I watch more of trailers on yeah. Twitter than I'll go and Google porn. Yeah. Well, this wasn't even a trailer. These were like somebody had put a clip up, but it was like a five minute clip they put on oh, fucking wow. Twitter. And I was like, don't put that long. Sell that. Get your money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Get that clip, clip off of there. Of yeah. I'm like, I won't even put full sex on my Twitter. I might put a naked photo, but that's about it. And it's going to link you to a yeah. paid Here's site. 30 yeah. seconds like, and a link. Right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's crazy. Quit putting Putting full link porn on you guys because you're giving it away. Stop yeah. doing that. It's saturating market. Yeah, that's Fuckers. what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. God. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Moving on. All right, you guys. I do have a word of the day. Now, this one isn't quite as fun as my other words of the day, <laughs> but it is. It is something relationship wise, so that's why I wanted to go this route. So my my word of the day for today is aftercare. Does anyone know what aftercare? No. It's magical. Thank you. So magical. Thank you, Kurt. <laughs> aftercare do you know what it means basics no like nothing it's like pushing out the cream pie out of your ass that's what pierce would think it is of course <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's not what it is aftercare but... i would assume is like washing yourself after yeah. sex or something, okay or so like... base is you would think basics like that as well okay. but basically what it is is just checking in with your partner so let's say that you're into spanking play and you've left some bruises so it would be about going to get ice for their bruises or it would be about that's asking so sweet. it would be about asking like what you liked in that sex and what you didn't like during that sex so you kind of like get an opinion from your partner mm-hmm. how the sex went and you're kind of like linking it in that's the aftercare that they're talking so you're about doing a review. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, like a review yeah of I sex know. honestly I wish I would do this with people more often because I feel like 
I'm not very good at giving direction when it's happening because if I'm enjoying myself, I just am enjoying myself and I don't necessarily give direction, but I think I would give direction afterward with more confidence, I think. I don't know. Do you give direction while you're having sex? What do you mean by direction? Like, do you tell somebody... <laughs> Like down here to the left, to the right. Do you, tell, do you yeah. tell them, um, like, play with my nipples or tug on my balls or put a finger in my butt? Do you say yeah, those things? He yeah. <laughs> he just said it in the parking lot. I know. So you're vocal during sex yeah. while it's happening. Okay, good. Yeah, I like yeah. that. I mean, because you, you know what you want, right? Well, yeah, but some people are just inf- afraid to say it. But I think it's the same thing for you. Mm. Like, I don't like that position. Do that. Like, it's the same thing as saying that, right? Okay. Yeah. 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 Do you talk about it? Do you tell people during sex? Yeah. Yeah, totally. And I think this is like this this word is a lot um like uh, really important especially in like BDSM. Oh, like 100%. Kink. Yeah. Especially when oh, yeah. you're you're in positions of vulnerableness, like yeah. Yeah, there's a sub dom dynamic yes. and there's things that you really need to communicate or else people are going to get hurt. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, no no no, I totally feel that. And because like some of the sub dom situations can be so hurtful I feel like which is why yeah. I can't personally do them because I'm I can't be that mean to people yeah. and then afterwards I would be like but you know like you're a good person right like I don't, know, like, <laughs> don't really go kill yourself you know like because you're just calling him a piece of shit the whole time you're not right? really a dirty bitch <laughs> you wash up right you clean up nice really useless. <laughs> yeah yeah I'm really horrible at that I am like, too. I can't I'm be mean. Yeah. It doesn't turn me on to yeah, be mean. I think so too. I get that too. But you are into that kind of thing, right? You're into the hardcore stuff. I mean, I'm an actor. I can do okay. it. I can do it. But it's not your on. profession. It's I've not never your really personal. done BDSM outside of porn. Like okay. I, yeah, I've done plenty of BDSM scenes and stuff, and I can be a, a dom on camera, but I've never exercised it in my personal life. That's hmm. interesting. Yeah. I feel like a. a a lot of who I am is a, a character. Well, of course, it's a character. I'm playing a fucking mom. Um, so, <laughs> like, those are not my stepchildren. Um, but yeah, I definitely, <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I definitely go into a different mindset. I was watching one of my previews the other day, and it just—I know that when we were making it, it was meant to be silly. But like hearing me say the words back just made me laugh so hard because it was like, oh, I've never—I wouldn't even know what to do with a penis. And they're like, can I see yours? And I was like, oh god, so. <laughs> so bad exactly. um, but you know you just play it up for that extra little bit and you become you know whatever that they want you to be for that scene in that yeah. day you know what's the crazy thing you've pretended to be because of porn you have some really good role right no nothing no, like they just usually have me as like some straight dude <laughs> who's like um, exactly well, that's, that's crazy that's pretty far off. <laughs> or like I'm somebody's brother and we end up fucking like just something like what do you normal. think it is like, with the... so weird. <laughs> <laughs> something normal like that yeah what do you think it is with the incest you guys do you think we're ever gonna move past incest can there be a new porn search that's it's gonna take over I need there to be a new one for personally I don't know I've never personally googled incest porn it, it's just it's so weird sa- it's saturated it's like though. if you've seen my family like you know that's not anything I'm thinking about no. <laughs> I mean I had a hot stepbrother early in life but oh, I mean like yeah, I, I never so. like viewed my you know like <laughs> I did sleep with this, my stepbrother did you though. really was Damn. it like during a family holiday no it was when we first met so Wait. our parents married so quickly a stepbrother in America so are yeah. you blood related no. No. no so what's the name for that incest yeah. <laughs> no I mean like if your father Family remarried dick. and had another child. Oh, um... That's like a half, half brother. Oh, that's a half. Yeah. So your yeah. step brother is no blood. No relation. Oh, that's yeah, fine yeah, yeah. Then. Our parents met and married super quick, and we hadn't even met the families when they married. So when we met, they were already married. So but that's not really incest, Yeah, though. No, it's no, not no, at no, all. No. Yeah, no. no it just makes Thanksgiving incest. a little awkward. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> Pass the gravy well, only and he, your balls. Only, <laughs> only he and I and the rest of the world know about it, because I talk about it on every podcast ever. But I don't think my... my Family, they will never watch it. So that side of the family will never watch it. Have you seen so. him since? I see him every oh year. God. Do you, you uh, every me? time? I repeat. No, 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 never. He's married now and has and six into kids. Some big hot porn star. Yeah, and, and I'm a porn like, star. God, yeah, fuck my life. <laughs> <laughs> With six kids in his minivan, <laughs> he's still jerking off. Yeah, he totally like, is. <laughs> he's like, you didn't even check in with me after. 
<laughs> See how I was feeling. <laughs> no, I think that that's just a tabooness of like something you're not supposed to do, though. Mm -hmm. It's the same for me of like, <laughs> this is so, this tells you I'm a horrible, horrible human being. It's the same for me when I shouldn't fuck somebody's boyfriend or <laughs> husband. It's a tabooness because I know I'm not supposed to. It's the to adrenaline do it. rush. Yeah. Damn, it if is. you're single, you're single. Thanks, you. Thanks. I appreciate that. The adrenaline <laughs> makes your nut better. <laughs> There's just something about knowing that that person, you can't have them, and you're like, oh, I can't, but I will. Do you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, there's a forbiddenness yeah. about it. Is that adrenaline? Yeah. 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 What's the craziest, like, person like that that you've ever had sex with you shouldn't have sex with? Ooh. <laughs> another awkward <laughs> pause. So mine would be my, so my dad does have another son from another marriage. Oh, my God. Um, he's my half-brother, but it wasn't him. It was his son. Oh. Who's, he's le he's like a couple years younger than me. Oh, but this was like that's after hot. I started porn. What's his Instagram? Year. What's going yeah. on? Yeah, can we stalk him? No, right? So it was basically my nephew. Oh wow, <laughs> wow! But but it's only like half brother. So okay, it's not like full. So it's like I, a quarter nephew. I'm not judging. <laughs> I think it's and interesting. And I'm from Mississippi. You know? Of course. So oh, that's fine. So that's me. Yeah, yeah absolutely, yeah. absolutely, Pierce. Um. Have you had forbidden sex? I wouldn't say it's forbidden. It's like my older brother's best friend. But That's we, pretty we like, forbidden. It was pretty young. I was like 13. He was like 15. Your yeah. brothers brothers hate when you sleep with their friends. I know. Brothers are well, not fans of that. Not at all. Do you have anybody that you shouldn't have slept with, Kevin? Like someone's husband. Yeah, husbands. Husbands are so easy. <laughs> Be better wow. to your husbands. That's all I'm saying. True, though, right? They stray True. so quickly. You guys yeah. got to stay on top of that. Um, <laughs> I cannot be held responsible. Neither can Kevin. All right. Um, <laughs> I could be held responsible. <laughs> Okay, uh, Cade, you're from a very small town. Um, what was that childhood like? I'm from a very small town as well. So how how was that growing up, and how did you jump into pornography, and how did your small town handle this? Well, growing up, I just kind of hated myself growing up. I hated Aww. my life. Like I feel like I wasn't able to make decisions. I was kind of like putting my fairies, family's very religious. So that's like not a question. You go to church when they say you go to church. Mm -hmm. It's like... I feel like I didn't. I feel like for the first eighteen years of my life, I hated my life. Mm, were like, you I, closeted I went through then severe too? depression and like I didn't understand like my sexuality. Oh, and I hate I that. I felt like that it was wrong because these people are telling me it's wrong. Yes. And so I just had all this stuff going on. Um, did you have any positive influences that were gay men in your life? Did you even know any gay men? No. Nothing. No. Oh, wow. And then my family was kind of like they didn't really like. They were like, oh. Ellen's gay on TV, you know, like turn the right. channel or like they didn't want to like <gasps> talk about it. Really? Or, yeah, it was very, very ignorant. Wow. Um, but when I turned 18 and I moved out and I started being able to make my own decisions and doing things that made me feel good or yeah. doing things, I don't have to do things because they make <clears> me feel bad. So it was nice like growing, like getting When did out you of have your first sexual experience with a man? Um, it was like in between my college, my high school and college year. Like okay. I just got out of high school. I went on a, a senior trip to the Bahamas. Nice. And that's when it happened. Nice. <laughs> so when my sister wanted to go on her senior trip a couple years later to the Bahamas, my mom's like, no, your brother came back <laughs> drunk and gay. <laughs> You are not going. That is hilarious. That is hilarious. That should be the new like tourist thing for the Bahamas. Come visit the Bahamas. You'll be drunk and gay. Yeah, so it was a, that was the time. And I actually didn't even um, get to tell my family. Like, um, so I had Somebody left else? My, so my sister snooped through my MySpace. Like, mm. my, my computer was, and it was MySpace at the time. And they get through some messages to the dude. And so to that's the guy you lost your virginity to. Yeah. Okay. And so then it. one day, mom's like, Are you gay? I'm like, No, I'm bi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's just like the easier answer at the yeah. time, you know. I am metrosexual. Yeah. <laughs> did you have that experience growing up? Were you? Ha did you have to be closeted, or were I was you closeted? But I'm from Canada. <clears throat> like everything was very, very open. You okay. know, like we had gay people on TV. Okay. Um, my parents never really talked about negatively. Mm -hmm. You know, it was always like in the open. Oh, you that guy on TV. We love him. Was like one of the most famous hosts in, hosts in Canada, and he was gay. He was just not open about it, it, but everyone knew he was. Got so it. So it was very, very easy. But I still didn't tell my parents that I was 21. Wow. wow. Yeah. So were you dating women? 
I was dating, well, I was not dating anyone really. Okay. I had like two girlfriends. Okay. But it was just like, I was just, you hear so many stories. I was just scared. Like as much as my family's open, I was like, you never know. I don't yeah. want to be this. I don't mm. want this dinner to be you last wanna one. You want to be outcast. Yeah. 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 And they handled it well. But did you tell them how what your grandma said? Like when you get, went and told your grandma? Oh yeah. So I was very scared to tell my family. So I moved out of my parents. I moved to Los Angeles. I went to school, came back for a year, worked in TV, and then I was like, I make enough money, I can live by myself. So I right. moved out. But then that's when I told myself I was gay as well. Because when you don't tell yourself, you can't. Live. So then I told my friends, but I was like, I can't tell my family. My mom's going to freak out. She's going to think I moved out of the house because she doesn't accept me and blah, right, blah, blah. Right, right. So I waited three months. And then in September, I was like, okay, I need to tell them. So I was going to college. I drove to college. I, it was next to my parents' house. And I had dinner with my parents. And I told them it was super easy. And then I was like, okay, let me tell the rest of the family. Mm -hmm. So I went to sit down with my grandparents who were like in their 70s. And uh, I said, so I have something to tell you. It's very important. I'm like, okay. Um, so, you know, I know it's different in your time than mine, but, right. um, I like guys, I'm gay. Okay. Uh, so are you staying for dinner? And I was like, well, this is a big deal. <laughs> He's um, kind of offended. He wanted like the tears. I was so deal. offended. I was like, this is a moment. It took me like three weeks Aww. to get the courage to tell you. Okay, but it doesn't change anything. We made dinner, so you staying or not? Because we like kind of need to know. You're like, oh, are you, since you're gay, do you eat now? <laughs> like, gays don't eat in public. I honestly like. I applaud you men in general for even like. I don't know how to keep a secret. I cannot keep secrets. I tell everybody everything. I would not be able to keep to myself that I was gay. But the thing is, is you don't keep the secret because you don't want to tell. You keep the secret because you don't want your family to fall apart. Mm. That's like the difference. Because I was like, I was walking into that dinner with my parents saying. Well, they're great, but they could either accept it or tell me it's done. Mm. So I'm like, this could be the last dinner. Right. I wasn't worried about my family falling apart. I'm like, how do I get through this shit? Like, yeah. I'm worried about me falling apart. Because <laughs> like, then yeah. you're like, oh, then you see, like, when you come out in your small town, then you like your friends, you'll see who your real friends are. Who's yeah. like, and it's. Do you I feel like you lost people? Part. Do you feel like you lost people in your life? Um, at that point, yes. Yeah. But I gained so much more. Oh, mm -hmm. I love that. So, story. yeah, like, it helps you in a sense. Like, because if you're going to hold that against me, then why the fuck am I even wasting my yeah. time right. with you? But like, that's what I was saved not... me so much time and effort and, like, you know, it just saves you bullshit. Yeah. That's the thing. When I started and I did, like, Start Andrew Christian. sign above my head. <laughs> <laughs> Read out all the motherfuckers. <laughs> when I did, like, Andrew Christian and all that and we'd go from club to club and you yeah. hear those stories from, like, people from small town, I'm like, I would love to relate, but I can't. Yeah. So, but you hear all those stories and I'm like, that's what you see on TV. That's what, I'm like, I'm from a place where gay marriage was legal when I came out, you know? Wow. It's like, yeah. so it was very different. Yeah, I blessed. wasn't scared of the <laughs> around me mm -hmm. my parents used to go have drinks in the gay area because the gay area in montreal is the fun. nicest area it's with always the like the, and the drinks are stronger let's yeah. just be honest <laughs> the drinks are stronger it's Every like the safest vibe yeah. Yeah. it is it's so it's much fun, fun. Yeah. i agree with you when I, I moved to los angeles i met a girl that lived <clears> from montreal here and she was like where do you live and i was like oh i live in hollywood she's like you want to live in west hollywood <laughs> around those street very safe <laughs> <laughs> oh i love yeah. that yeah yeah um pierce where are you from a small town are you yeah from yeah how how did everybody handle it there for you? Um, like there just wasn't any backlash. You know, anybody that's I don't know. I, I think I left before like people knew that I was you know having sex with guys and whatnot. You okay. Know? Um, so Do you feel like this is a thing that I feel, and this question goes to all of you guys? Do you feel like your family is getting because their your families are the ones still stuck in these towns, mm -hmm, you know? Right. And you we're all gone. We don't have to deal with it on a daily basis. Do you feel like your family is taking any of the brunt of your yeah. decisions that's a good yeah. question because i feel like they kind of are because I, I know a lot of my friends know exactly what i do <laughs> mm -hmm. and it always is being in such a small town it totally gets back and it gets around right. and everybody talks and so i feel like maybe they are and i just i don't see it and yeah but they're proud they're like they're proud of me so they're just like yeah they talk about it in a in a positive aspect and i'm mm -hmm. thankful for that yeah maybe yeah. you should tell them you're thankful for them i'm yeah. just like you know yeah. what it's a small town they have nothing to talk about anyway i'm just gonna give them something to talk about <laughs> exactly <laughs> yeah yeah I'm, i've been what my small town i think was it's a great conversation a starter so what's your yeah. brother doing yeah now? yeah <laughs> but as much as you're from your a, son <laughs> as much as you're from a small town you're very lucky your family's very very like open and like you tell your mom going on a shoot and yeah. you know what i mean like you're yeah. very lucky 
lucky. Uh, mm-hmm. When I was going to do porn, I left. I didn't know what I was going to do at first. I thought I was just going to do a couple. Of, I was like, Mom, I'm leaving to go do porn. You are what? Yeah. <laughs> You've lost your mind. Yeah. I think our parents all thought we were got crazy. You. But yeah. here's the funny thing. It's like now it's like it's more mainstream. Like you guys are going to movie premieres. You're yeah. hanging out with celebrities. Getting you have what you see. You're world. paying your bills. I mean, mm-hmm. this is I don't, what porn has done for you. Your yeah. parents are not. I think that's with like porn careers or coming out as gay it's not that they don't want you they're just scared of you not being accepted or struggling they don't want to see their child struggle and they're like is porn is porn really sustainable and all that which it is more now than it was before but i think that's why our parents are just all about i agree with that well it's the market it's the fucking media that makes porn look negative like everything they talk about when it comes to porn is always fucking negative and you know what that's with a lot of things like the circuit parties or raves i used to go to raves in montreal we used to have the twenty thousand people but on TV, what they used to see is to show right. the next day was the one crazy girl or the right. crazy guy. Overdoses. And that's what people thought about. Yeah. Right. Well, I mean, there are some negatives in porn. Like when I when people I hear people say that and they're like, oh, they only focus on the negative. That's because there is. There's a lot of negative and there is a of lot course. of drug abuse and there there are negative things. But that's in every field. Yes, exactly. I, mean, every every field. I worked in medicine for nearly a decade and I watched doctors snort more cocaine yeah. than I, I know. <laughs> watched a porn star I've snort. Known plenty. <laughs> you know, so yeah. <laughs> we all know. Some. Exactly. It just goes hand in hand with ours because a lot of our like my dealings besides outside of the studio work is nighttime, is right. nightlife, is entertainment. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and you do have to be and out and about and be social with yeah. that. And yeah, it does. G- not it's even definitely marketing. Like even yeah. if you just go out and you're hanging out with your friends in the Abbey. Yeah, you know, and you drop your dating app or like whatever. Like it's marketing. But yeah. it's also the way you take. You know, there's not a lot of people that necessarily do it the right way. You know, you'll go out, you'll do whatever, you, but then the next day you're in the gym, you're drinking healthy, you're right. doing a lot, but it's the people that don't do that mm-hmm. and they wake up at 6 p.m. to do the same right. thing all over mm-hmm. again. Those are the negative people right. we're talking about. Right, you know? oh, 100%. Right. Or they don't show up for their for their bookings or yeah. anything because right. they're so messed up. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Well, not none of those people are in this room, and I don't have those people yeah. on my show to be honest yeah, with you. Yeah, they probably wouldn't true. be. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, that's exactly yeah. right. Yeah, I only yeah. have like the hardest working people in the industry on this show, and that's how I want to keep it. Yeah, because I like to I like to showcase the the good yeah. aspects yeah. of it and yeah. what we, we do have, have to offer. Focus on the bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hundred percent. Right. Yeah. And saying that, what are your favorite scenes to do? My favorite scenes are my now my bi scenes. I love getting to work with my gay performers. I think it's so hot, but that's just me. I don't think that you're gay. I don't feel I don't feel like when I'm on set necessarily the gay performers feel like I'm their favorite day. <laughs> <But, laughs> What's that? I know they're like, oh, we're gonna have to put our dick in that. Um, <laughs> but I for I love them. I think they're fantastic. What are your favorite scenes to do? Um, like type. Yeah. Um, I don't know. You don't have a favorite genre that when you get booked for it, you're like, this is going to be an awesome day. I don't know. I feel like the T- like doing TS porn is like okay. there's a lot less of a responsibility because all the attention is focused on the girl. Okay. And like I don't have to do pretty girl. I don't have to do still shots. And it's just yeah. like just still sex. And it's like most of the time I'm not even in the camera frame. It's just my dick in their hole. That's it. And so I'm just like, I'm like, I can kind of breathe. Yeah, I'm yeah. not making as much, but I, I get more exposure and I'm just kind of like just... Oh, you make less for those scenes? I didn't oh, realize yeah. that. That's oh, surprising. Yeah, half. I'm surprised yeah, like, by that like as ha- well. Like, really? Yeah, sometimes less than half, yeah. Wow, I had no idea. Well, well, it's, the they're, sh- they're straight. They're straight marketed. And that's yeah. the difference mm-hmm. between sh- straight marketed is for yeah, this, the you guys know, straight get paid people. More in gay porn. And, Interesting. Yes. Yeah, the guys get the shaft in, in straight like in straight like, porn. Yeah. The girls, oh, no, yeah. y'all it's get paid crazy. wonderful. Yeah. Like, well, they get paid the same as we do in gay. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty close, yeah. What are your favorite scenes to do? All of my scenes are pretty much the same. The The only difference in the scenes is like when I have B-roll. I hate B-roll. You do? I love it. I it's my favorite part. What and is that for somebody else? It's the acting part. Dialogue. The dialogue. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 B-roll is like the dialogue. The exposition and all that is funny. Yeah. You get to yeah. do like a lot of comedy stuff because you do a lot with like men.com. Yeah, oh, but for I love me, it. that takes more effort than like just going and fucking a boy. But you see, he had a scene, of, what, where was it, San Francisco, and they brought him in for three days of B-roll before, oh God, but he yeah. printed the script. I was like, I'm going to highlight this. This is cool. <laughs> I love yes. you. Yes. Like, you have a lot of lines. He's yeah. like, I don't like that. And then he gets to set. I'm like, what scene did you do today? I don't know. 
I'm like, oh, that's a fun part. <laughs> yeah, no, I love the acting. Like, they're yeah. like, do you want us to pay you extra for the dialogue days? I'm like, don't care. I'll be there anyway. <laughs> I was so much fun. Like, like, I've written a monologue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, I've added to the story a bit. If we could just uh, <laughs> plug this in. <laughs> that's good. Uh, no, I love it. Okay. All right, you guys, this is my favorite part of the show that we're going to move on to. And this is the last thing that you have maybe Googled that was sex related or had something to do with your private parts or something maybe malfunctioning or not working or, or just something, something that you would up until right now today would only be brave enough to ask Google. Everyone is so mute. This is the part of the show where it was like, do I tell them the last thing that I actually Googled? This is very hard. It is hard. So the last thing that I Googled was somebody wanted to know if they could be my cuckold. Okay. Is that how you what say it? Um, so I didn't know either. So the definition is kind of different from what he actually described it as. So he basically described it as he wanted to, after I fucked a dude, then like clean my, like mm. with his mouth. Oh, with his mouth? Like, Wait, that is different oh, that than is normal different. cuckolding, actually. Yeah. Like he wanted to watch and then like. Okay. The watching is what I know of cuckolding. Yeah, is so someone in wanted, the corner watching. Okay, so he wanted to watch and then like clean Wipe it off afterwards. With his like, mouth, yes, I assume. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's fair. I feel like that's a normal cuck holding yeah. type of situation. Okay. Yeah. Because I know in my cuck holding situation, sometimes the the man who wants to be cuck holded, he'll also like want to kiss me while I'm getting fucked or something like that. Involve him in some uh-huh. way, shape, or form, but that never that he's ever gonna get to fuck me. I think that's the big point of yeah. it is that they want to watch somebody else fucking you and they want to oh, not okay. fuck you. Yeah. It's one yeah, word. <clears throat> Cuck holding. C- 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 yeah. Denial is a big um like a fetish for some people. Like they get really excited yeah. by being denied and like yeah. Yeah, so that's why cuckolding is such a big thing. It is a really mm-hmm. big thing, actually. Yeah. Did you do it? Did you do the cuckolding? Oh, no, I didn't. You didn't? No. Oh. I, pl- I played a cuck in a straight scene last week. How was that for you? It was hilarious. They were fucking like right on top of me. You know, I was playing video games. I was like, this to me. We're married. You know, like I'm like the pathetic husband, and the guy's just fucking her like, right on me, and he like comes all over her and me. And it's like, <laughs> oh. You know, it was How funny. was that? It was funny. It was just yeah. acting the whole time. Yeah. And it was just. I was just being pathetic and crying like a ba- like a little <laughs> bitch. She was hilarious. I had so much fun with it. I love it. It doesn't affect like how I feel about me. I just like they can talk all yeah. the shit they want. I'll just laugh. It's funny, you know. I love it's it. It's good times. What did you yeah. Google last? Oh, what did I Google last? Yeah. Um I think it's probably like I think it's like anal fissures. Oh. I, uh, yeah. What yeah. did you Google about it? Um, like I, I think I, t- I took the strap on. It was like a little just went in too deep like all of a sudden like there was no warm-up okay and it kind of gave me like a little bit of a you know infection up in there and he's got like hemorrhoids little pockets of infection and this is oh, like man and it got to the point where it was like started giving me hot cold flashes like flu symptoms and i'm like fuck i don't want like my blood to be infected or anything <gasps> like that um so i want i googled it to figure out you know if it's something i need to go to the hospital over or if it's not and what was it antibiotics? what was the outcome um I uh, am very into like natural things, so yeah. like it was obviously an infection, and um, I just started like eating raw garlic cloves because mm. it's a natural antibiotic, yeah. and that shit like kills infections yeah. really well. I'm sure you were real popular on set yeah. the next day. <laughs> uh, no, I made sure to do it like when I did not have any scenes. Yeah, yeah I the love next garlic. day. It's very yeah. good. Yeah. Well, we learned um, last episode that. Um, People used to put what was it ginger? Was it ginger? Yeah, yeah, yeah. ginger um, into um, buttholes, like shaved ginger into a woman's. Well, they were using it on women at the time, but it was like a form of torture, torture because it like burns Ugh. inside the butthole. Yeah, I know. Uh, it just gave me an idea for a challenge on social media. I knew it. I, I knew it would. I'm gonna take Tabasco and just put it all over uh, a dildo and oh, use God. this lube and just. But you, but you can it. literally like burn yourself though, like third degree burns. You can from that, Tabasco. Have you seen his other challenge? Because he just put his dick in a mil- mouse trap. I know. We talked, <laughs> we about, talked that about that on the last that. episode. It's so I can't even like it. That's how they test mouse traps. It it it's strong enough. It just makes yeah, my yeah, dick yeah. hurt. I mean, it wasn't as bad as people think. Like I was telling these guys, like I tested it first. You know, I like. Pulled it back a quarter of the way, let it go. Pulled it back halfway, let it go. Just like yeah, so I tested it, so it wasn't like yeah, gonna hurt me, like. Forever, what about probably. you, Kevin? Do you have anything that you googled recently? I googled something this <clears> morning because 
uh, Google anal bleaching this morning because oh, I was nice. like, what part do they bleach and what part do they don't bleach and what's the process? And what did you find out? Because I don't even know. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. I've never bleached like a butthole. Just like the, it's just the, um, like, the rectum. I thought it was the like area. the area, but it's like the area just around like where it tightens. Are you gonna bleach your butthole? I don't know. I have a lot of friends that did it. If someone wants you to give really it to me, some on people Instagram, have to though. You don't really some people need don't. Your no, I don't bleach. need it, but I would love to try it. But, but why? I know. I'm like, I don't white. understand. Like Michael Jackson. I don't understand why. What the? I don't even understand why anyone would ever need to do it. Well, some, I think it makes you look younger. Some people's buttholes, they like they have a like a black around it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, it's sorry. not the most attractive. Really? Yeah, there's there's some that are just dark around the hole, mm. right. and so they'll do it to lighten up the hole, make it look pink. You know. Like, mm. You feel like it makes. You I don't look need younger? it. Is that what you said? Yeah, it makes your ass look younger, <laughs> yeah. right? I wish, Isn't is that ass, the whole point? Are our asses it, aging point. us? I didn't know my asshole was aging me. Well, I think me. You, no, you're born whole, you're pink and it becomes dark. The whole dark. point is because some people's holes are black around. like so They become yes, black, right? But you don't, Over time? Yeah. yeah. And oh, it doesn't match know. the rest of their like, yeah, skin tone. It so it's, it's a little exactly, jarring. Yeah. And yeah. sometimes it can look like it's dirty. Dirty, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Oh, really? Okay. I really don't think I need it, but I like to do shit like that. Okay. For the fun of it. So... You Let's have, have a party. <laughs> you record it. I love sell it. Sell it on OnlyFans. No, I'm just going to ask someone if they want to do a collab on Instagram. Who knows? Yeah. Maybe it's free. It, it's out there. <laughs> right. You can collab with anybody. Exactly. Hell yeah. <laughs> um, I Googled um, um, passing out after putting um, something too big in your butt. Oh. So what I had done is um, when you work for... Um, Oh my god, I'm Kim blanking on his name right now. But anyway, it's some big anal guy in the scene. And when you work for him, you have to do um, anal warm ups before he'll book you. So he gives you um, a set of anal plugs, and they start small and they go big. And I love anal play, butt so plugs? I was like, huh? Like butt, butt plugs? plugs. Okay. Yeah, to like size you up. And uh, I love anal play, so I was like, I can go to the big one right away. Like, no problem, yeah. right? So I literally I shoved it in my asshole, and I'm not kidding you. I Immediately, I passed out. I literally, I put for it in my butthole long? and I collapsed onto my couch. Yeah. And so I Googled that for just for like a second. Can like you imagine waking, walking into this. Yeah. But I Googled it because I was like, is that like a normal thing? It's, it's, and yes. Yeah. yeah, it actually is. Like oh. it is a normal thing because it's just like so it, much instantly that you weren't, your body wasn't ready for and it just like. It goes into shock. You. Yeah. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Even if you're it causes used, trauma. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 Oh. even if you're used to it, sometimes it's just not a good day. Well, and I think too is like, I was just like a, probably like a normal Tuesday and I was like, oh, let me go try these butt plugs. And I'm like, oh, I can do that. Like spit on it, shove it up there. And I was like, oh, no, I can't. Like, oh my God. <laughs> Not without a little warm up first. It's apparently, like it's not Friday yeah. yet, is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> later, bitch. Later. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. It's just it's about learning your body and learning what your body the, can handle. The butthole's you know? a muscle, and if you don't it's like go into the gym, if you don't stretch it, you're gonna be more prone to injury and pain. That's you know that's what I mean. That's a good you little mental it. note like, right If you there. go to the gym and you work out, I stretch every day before I work out. Yeah. You know, like twenty minutes. That's part of my workout, and I love being flexible. It makes yeah. me. I wreck on my one wheel or something. I just fucking eat it in my face. I'm just like roll through it and like pff, I'm like Gumby. It's just like yeah. super flexible. But uh, and I don't get injured. So same it really depends assholes. on the day too and what you know. Sometimes you'll be like, oh, it just went in with spit, and then the next day you're <laughs> yeah. like, I had a ball of lube and I need it. And it had to take 20 minutes. You know, you just yeah. never know. No, that's very true. Yeah, and I guess like I wasn't really excited. You know, I wasn't yeah. like so you were ready like, for mm, sex. Yeah. yeah, I wasn't dilated. I guess is yeah. the word I would want to use there. Yeah. Really stimulated. Right. Yeah, and maybe I should have like started with penetrating my vagina first because that's usually how I warm my yeah. butthole up anyway. You know, it's like Makes get sense. it, get it ready, yeah. get it ready for wanting something. Okay, all right, moving on. So dating and porn is our topic for today. So um, let's see here for Kate and Kevin. Uh, we already did that one. Uh, moving on. What is the most important factors to having a successful relationship with someone in the industry? Because I have no idea. <laughs> I think the biggest one is communication. Yeah, yeah that's got to be key. Yeah. yeah. And trust, probably, right? On your part? Yeah. 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 Do you give him... But trust comes with communication. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. Do if you, you have, like, a pass to sleep with other people or no? Me? Yeah. What do you mean? Like, if I had boyfriends before? No. Do you get to sleep no. with other people like currently? If you really go sleep with somebody, could you go uh, sleep with somebody? I don't know. Could I? <laughs> a communication. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just yeah, not we've something had this we've talked about before, but that that's much. just not his swag. Okay, I get that's it. That's not. His, that's more of me. Yeah. Like that would be me. <laughs> 
So even if you weren't doing porn, you think in a relationship you would need to be open? That's what you're saying? Mm. I think so, yeah. Mm. Oh, interesting. interesting. What about you? Are you an open relationship type of guy, Pierce? Are you... Um... Or do you need a commitment, me and you? Yeah, I'm more monogamous. Like, Same, yeah, I'm I monogamous. Just, it but... needs to be like close. Yeah. yeah. It's so weird because as porn stars, you're going, yeah, I need a monogamous relationship, <laughs> but I'm sleeping with thousands of people. Like, yeah, it's, it's a weird concept, but that's I where my head's at. I just meet someone and be like, oh, I could sleep with him for 100 years. You don't meet someone only. like that? No? Like, no, like, Kevin is an amazing guy. Yeah. But I mean, like, that tell. just doesn't change what I need sexually. Really? Okay. Yeah. You need it to be mixed up. I get yeah. that. I right. do understand that aspect. I don't know because like, I've never been in a relationship that lasts longer than five years. So I I don't know what forever feels like. That's a long relationship time, though. It yeah. is a long yeah. relationship yeah. time. Yeah. But also our sex, our sex life in the end had seriously depleted, if mm. not a non-existent in the end. And it was more like I loved him as a brother. It was like the a companion. partner type. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah and the sexuality kind of slipped out of it. Now, I don't know that me going to sleep with somebody else would have saved that, but... You know, possibly. Had we talked about it, it certainly wasn't a communication Are y'all going to sleep issue. with someone else together? Or mm -hmm. like, I see, like I think I'm way too jealous for that. I'm a hugely jealous human being. Uh, the only reason I like threesomes now is because I have threesomes in porn, and it's easy. <laughs> I yeah. like the the fact that somebody else is helping me suck a dick. Like that's I'm like, oh, girl, you get it for a second. <laughs> <laughs> like that's the only reason I'm into threesomes currently for the less work aspect. But yeah, I don't think it has anything to do. <laughs> <laughs> in a relationship, <laughs> but who knows? <laughs> okay, guys, we're going to move on to our questions because we're running. The show goes by so fast, I it can't does. help it. Yes. But we're moving on to questions because we do have some questions from the audience that we want to get answered. All so, right. Kevin, this one's for you. Oh, great. Would you ever consider getting into the industry, getting into porn? I've actually wanted to for a while, oh. but the thing is, is that I think it would block a lot of doors for like it regular does. entertainment. Yeah. And does. I've done a lot of regular entertainment. I really like it. Mm -hmm. And I'm not doing it now, but like the five, six year plan, once I'm like get all my real estate up and all that, I'd yeah. like to have a real estate show, like okay. on a major network. Oh, and a major fun. network not is not gonna let you have anything if you've done right, porn before. So right, that's right. why I never done yeah. it. There's million dollar listing on Bravo TV and Frederick was a yeah. huge star, but well, it was like oh, really? fifteen. No, years but I'm ago. just saying you just said it, Bravo TV. I wanna be yeah. on a regular network. Oh, 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 oh. That was some shade. Some shade. Sorry, Andy Cohen. <laughs> oh my! I'll be on Bravo if they want to put me on Bravo. I'll be, I'll be on BET. Yeah. Put me wherever oh, you want. I'm girl. saying I'll be on anything, but I, what I really want is like a network. Yes. Okay. 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 All right. Next question: What enhancements do you use on set that help or that keep you hard, keep you going, gentlemen? Me? What? I don't know anything. Uh, Trimax. Yeah. Okay. Same. Same. Yep. Trimax. They don't know what Trimax uh, so is. So Trimax is an injection. You inject okay. it into the penis. It's liquid Viagra that and, acts much faster. And there you then go. it keeps, um, I don't really know the science behind it, but it keeps the, it, it keeps your dick hard for like hours. Depending on like the dosage you do, I know mm -hmm. mine pretty well. So mm -hmm. I usually do mine for like a five, if I'm doing a shoot, like a do five hour range. Do you use it every shoot? Yes. You yeah. do? Every single time? I don't yeah. do a shoot without it now. <laughs> okay. It just makes it so much easier. Got it. What it is is it's a it's a compound that thickens with the warmth of your blood. The temperature of your blood reacts and it and it thickens, it coagulates the blood. So that way it's localized in one specific area of your okay. body and that way it kind of just closes it off for a certain amount of time. Would you suggest that to regular people who are having sex or you think that's just for like porn style sex? It it's for people with uh, erectile dysfunction. So okay. it would be amazing. It's amazing for fucking whiskey dick. I mean, you get hella wasted. I've you go it. home and be like, Boop, okay. be like oh, I'm Is hard. No problem. Prescription? You know? I've used yeah. it after it's parties. Yeah. Okay. After yeah. circuit parties, because you're a little intoxicated yeah. on everything. Yeah. <laughs> and then you're like, oh, I want to fuck so bad because you're feeling everything. And you can fight through whiskey dick with it. So, yeah. yeah. Just... All right, gentlemen, I'll get yourself some Trimax because you have let a lot of ladies down, and it but is also, time. But also, always go yeah. through your doctor. Always go oh, through your And get the doctor. antidote. Okay. And get the antidote. antidote. I've never had to use the antidote. Yeah, but you should have it. Wait, wait, what's because, the antidote? Pictures of Oprah naked. <laughs> That's the antidote. I don't know the name of it, but there's the antidote. I have the pill. Um, but it's just to ensure that in case it you do too much okay. or your blood body's not used. Mine's used to breaking it down after a certain amount of time now. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I really don't have to use it, but I always like to have the antidote if I do do it. Mm, that way, 
so if anything happens, because I've heard horror stories about mm-hmm. guys like being stuck hard, they have to go to their ER and, and they get have their to dick drain drained. their dick. Yeah. Yeah. I've heard it too. Like, it's from, yeah, from guys. So that was my big do. thing, but as I've done everything through my doctor, and okay. so yeah. I've, I've been good. It just makes you hard, though. It doesn't keep you like horny, though, right? No, it just makes you hard. Well, so I don't know. When I get too, hard, you know? I get horny. So as long as my dick's hard, okay. I'm kind of horny. Oh, so okay. for me, it does. But I use like a couple shots of alcohol. Like if mm. it thins your blood, yeah. and then mm. it'll go, it it'll down. start going down that within five oh, minutes. That's yeah, I'll have like two shots of tequila. Mm. Or if it's really not going down, I'll have four. <laughs> and then it goes <laughs> fucking down. You get a little drunk, but it goes yeah. down. Party you know? game. Yeah, I like it. After set, that's what works for me the best. I've never had to use the antidote or... Um, but yeah. All right, last question, and this is a really hard one. And I, <laughs> what are you gonna do after porn? That's a, I did not write it. Stan, dead blame Stan. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Stan. Sorry, this is a hard question, Stan. Because does anyone really know? Do you know? I don't really know. I'm um, studying to be a personal trainer right now. Okay. Um, so I was thinking about thinking about since I'm in LA, you know, like porn's not really looked down upon here. Right. It's kind of like so I was going to use that with my background of porn to do personal training here in LA. Nice. You have an a- exit yeah. plan. I like it. Pierce. Well, you um exit? for me, uh, before I got into porn, I was I did I Fracking. did real estate investments yeah. and I invested into a craft beer and wine oh. franchise. And so I'd probably just continue doing investments. Actually, what I want to do is get a website developed in porn and use that to leverage real estate mm-hmm. investments mm. and being a full-time investor, leveraging money, using money to make money. And That's a lot of nine-to-five workers that don't understand porn or the business concepts yeah. are like, oh, what are porn actors going to do? Well, if you use your money right, you can really do whatever you want with it. Yeah. You know? It's your brand. Like That's you said, true. you make money yeah. on your brand. <clears throat> That's exactly. true. That's true. Exactly. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be our show for the day. It's just flew by. Wow. So thank you guys also very much for coming. And tell the people how they can find you. You can find me on Instagram, um, C A D E underscore M A D D O X, or Twitter, C A D E M A D D O X X X. Love it. All right, Kevin. Uh, Twitter and Facebook is uh, at Kevin Benoit, and Instagram is at the real Kevin Benoit, Benoit B E N O I T. It is not said how it is spelled, no. by the way. <laughs> well, it is. Where you're from. Well, yeah. We're, yeah, 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 but not here. Okay. <laughs> Pierce? <laughs> and they can find me on Twitter, Pierce Paris XXX. I have an Instagram, but I really don't fucking use that He shit. really does not use <laughs> I'm it. not on Instagram at all. I was wondering Maybe if that was even bit. your real That's Instagram. That's what I thought. Yeah, I, have I have a like, fake no one. Way. That, yeah, there, I have a fake one that almost has just as many followers. I just don't. Yeah, yeah, I still don't fucking understand when I get so frustrated. It's like, why is there so many fucking little things here? It sucks. <laughs> it's way too advanced for me. So he I'm does just, like, not like Instagram, you yeah. guys. Find him on Twitter. Yeah, please. All right, guys. Thanks for another amazing episode. Until next time, adios. Thanks for tuning in for another episode of Sexy Funny Raw. Find us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Sexy Funny Raw. Watch and listen to all of our episodes at SexyFunnyRaw.com. Making the airwaves sexy one show at a time. Until next time, stay sexy, bitches.